Yo, 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 this King Gunner coming to you guys live and direct. So I'm guessing everybody heard about King Vaughn and the situation with him. Sad, man. And, and, and I'm going to tell you why it's more sad than anything. The reason why it's more sad than anything is because since I heard of that kid, all he's been doing is selling death. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the music that they speak is, is, is sell death. So when you get hit, or somebody slide up on you about it, I don't think the appropriate thing is for you to, you know, if you're a friend of that person or anybody, I don't think you should be mourning really, man. Mourning is for the individuals that die that's not supposed to go. We all have to understand when you're in the streets, everybody will go, man, everybody. When I mean everybody will go, not some of the people, man. Majority of them, you'll find a very low amount of individuals who end up going in the right direction and doing the right thing. But for the most part, you don't get none of these dudes. They ain't trying to, you know, carry it in the right direction. They mindset like, you know, whatever your atmosphere, whatever your environment is, that's how you carry it. And I'm here to tell y'all today that when y'all become rappers, y'all need to come out the streets, man. I'm speaking to individuals that get these big deals, man, and start really buzzing. I think it's ignorant and silly to keep yourself caught up in the same nonsense that you see others dying from. You will have another rapper coming from his neighborhood and it'll still be out in the mix. That don't make no sense to me. What I would like for us to start doing is holding everybody accountable in how we carry ourselves. If your music is not what you're saying, like if you don't carry that, that in the street, all, you know, when you're on camera, I expect you to say that, yo, listen, I ain't into that, man. I want y'all to know that. That way you don't have people coming up to you, you know, and you shouldn't be causing beefs. You shouldn't be causing all type of quarrelsome things, man. If you're, an, if you're an adult or you're on your way to being an adult or you got some adult money, you should take a look at that and be happy. Look at it as a blessing. A law puts you as a blessing because at the end of the day, you could be still the striving artist trying to make it, man. Instead, you get the big bank roll and you stay around the same areas of the striving artists or your striving enemies. That don't make sense to me. What do we do? How do we resolve it? Well, Sunday, Leak Malls, Vegas, Nevada got some things that they're doing, man. And I, I want to invite a couple of guys that I honor. I want to make sure that we invite Second Run at Fitness, C-Bus, OG, OGML. I already have put on the grand Mustafa rebuilding a foundation. I want to start inviting these guys that's from up top too, because it's a lot of stuff that's going up top and ain't nobody speaking on it. Everybody just seeing what's going on or posting this. And honestly, in my old neighborhood, bro, not only it's been more murders than anywhere, but that's not what my mindset is on. My mindset is to get the murders to stop playing. Like we got to figure out a, like a, an option or something like something instead of us having neg negativity in the community let's have some positivity like a couple blocks so all right this and that is going on right there we see that we understand this is what people are raised into but guess what up the street we have some good brothers who are doing some things we can't just talk about it here i'm activating my program a hundred percent and usually in the 49th ward i get loved man I get love from the Cheryl Parkers, man. You hear me? I get love from the Kaishas. For some time, I've been down because I had some things that I had to battle myself. And as we know, I love Snatching Honor, but let's get an understanding here. Snatching Honor is only the understanding of the Honor Your Life campaign in a way that only those who understand rawness is going to accept it. So I do not water down anything and I will not water down anything for anyone. But if y'all going to support, support, I got a cash app. Y'all want to help these children get somewhere? I got a cash app. Y'all want to speak about opiates? I can speak about that. You know why? I experienced it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that. Well, if you didn't know, it's more to come. I'm the one that started with OGML uh, Perks for Jerks campaign. Remember that? We're going to start 
getting some honor restored back in our communities and around our people. I'm Ken Gurner from the Honor Your Life campaign. I'm about to go to the sneak report, do some honor there, but I just want to make sure that we have an understanding that King Vaughn honor is intact. He didn't die a rat. He didn't die dealing with things that wasn't of dishonor. He may have died from the same illness everybody died from, hurting each other. King Gurner live and direct.